You guys, he's back. We have Forrest back. I am so freaking excited. Our baby's here. Oh my God, he's almost in Hi guys, welcome back to another part of The Sims 3 Generations. We have Forrest back. He went missing for a while. You know, we'll just say, a little storyline, um, he just like ran away. He went missing shortly after we moved and um, we found him, he's back. So what actually happened, you guys know in the last part I tried to do like, you know, place, place um, pet up for adoption or whatever and they never came and took him like i tried it again after i finished filming and he was still considered a pet in our house so i got to thinking i was like well wait a minute let me go into edit town remove him from our household and then put him right back in our household and he's back we have forrest i'm so freaking excited so you already know jasper's gonna give him some extra special attention but mr oliver is up first he seems to be the early riser. Um, he's up pretty quick every single day. I'm just going to have him finish getting himself. It will be Mila's birthday in a few days. Yes, I know this. She's going to have him. Oh my God, Forrest's birthday tomorrow. He's going to be an elder. Oh my baby. My baby. He was missing for so long. So freaking long. Um, but yeah, the plan today is to have like... I guess we'll consider it a sleepover maybe? I don't know. Let's just have him throw a party and see what we can do. I don't really want to have it like super, super early. Um, but I also... What am I trying to do? Okay, we have no breakfast food, so you're going to have a quick meal of bread and jam. That's what I was trying to do for like six freaking hours. Um... Yeah, we're just going to see what we can do as far as throwing a party. I definitely, I mean, it's 7 a.m., so we're not going to throw it, like, super, super early. But maybe we'll do, like, a sleepover? But, hold on. I can only invite teenagers if I do a sleepover. So we're just going to do just a house party, and we'll invite teenagers and children. Adult, teen, child, child. I knew that was happening. Okay, well, I definitely need Jada to be here. So let's uninvite you. Let's invite Jada. Um, hold on. I'm just going to put him back real quick just to take a look at this. So we're missing Antoine which he's really good friends with Jasper, so we're gonna have to invite him. So we will uninvite, we'll uninvite Harmony and then Antoine and Keaton. So children only, perfect. We're gonna do casual attire for let's say 1 p.m. Kids will start showing up at noon. Yeah, so we're just gonna do like a, basically a kid party. Um, yeah, Zimziwa. Um, yeah, we're basically just going to do a kid party, probably order pizza, and really just hang out. I'm actually going to change the weather to sunny because I want to make sure, like, they can be outside and, like, play in the sand and play in that and, um, balloon, not balloon fights, water balloon fights, that kind of stuff. Um, so Sage, the baby woke up at, like, five in the morning. They had to take care of him. Um, Jasper actually took care of him and Sage went and like took a shower and stuff, but she's awake now. Jasper broke the sink, so she's going to fix that. And I don't know why you're waking up, but you definitely need to come down here and talk to Forrest. You're going to run down here and give him a big old hug. Give him a big old hug because he's been missing. Like, can you imagine going to bed because, what is this? Shoe. No, just get up. Storm, get over here. Run. Can you imagine, like, going to bed one night, your cat's been missing for, I don't know, two years, and you wake up and he's just, like, eating food. Just eating food. Everything's all good. You know, she wants to learn the writing skill, so I'm going to have her come in here to Saf's computer and learn the writing skill. 
and she's gonna take care of little baby. He's gonna poop his pants soon, so we'll have to give him a bath. I'm so excited we had a little blonde boy, a little blondie. So freaking excited. Um, but when she gets him taken care of, I think her and Jasper will probably go um, take the baby and like go out to a nice dinner and then walk in the park or something. It's just, it's a beautiful set. Look at it. He's like, my boy is home. My baby boy. We had Forrest before we ever had kids. Isn't that crazy? Or maybe we got Forrest when we were pregnant with Saf. I cannot remember. I'm pretty positive, like 99% positive that we had Forrest before we ever had kids. So that really is like 100% his baby boy. Are all our pets boys? They are. We're going to have to get a girl next for sure. Um, so let's go ahead and pet him. And then we're going to feed him a little treat. And then we're going to brush him. And then you definitely need to change your clothes because we're about to go out. And then let's go ahead and feed the chickens. And we're going to let the, the eggs hatch so we can have some chicks again because I like having chicks and then perfect let's go ahead and give Wyatt a bath it's gonna be so cute he's gonna keep his little um suit on but it's fine look at how freaking cute I love this and his blonde hair you guys I can't even with his blonde hair it's so goddamn cute okay so you are playing outside you are okay this freaking tree Oh my god, I can't with that. You're playing outside. You're doing the writing skill. Let's have you... Don't ask him to come down. Go get the clean laundry. And then I guess just watch TV while we wait for the party to start. When you're done, you will grab a quick meal of like some yogurt. And then go for a joyride. Alright, and let's have you come downstairs. Make sure you're bringing Wyatt with you. Thank you. Yep, go feed the chickens. Oh my god, I love chickens. I wish I had chickens. My neighbors have chickens. I don't remember if I've said that or not. But yeah, my neighbors have chickens, and I'm really jealous. And I wish I had chickens. Um, why don't you come talk to Forrest? Go groom him. And socialize a couple times. And nuzzle. I mean, that was your dude. You know, you guys are best friends. Oh my god, sorry. My throat was so dry. I just had to chug some water. Okay, so we formed a little group. We're gonna head off. We're gonna go to... Oh, there's a party happening here. Okay, well, I don't... I don't know you, so I don't care. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna go to the bistro. Oh my god, are you kidding me? We're going to visit this place. Okay, visit this place with the group. There we go. Mila learned her writing skill. Perfect. You're just watching TV. You're just playing. All right, so the kids are going to have a little party. The parents are going to go out with their baby, their little son. Oh, my God. Oh, maybe they can go to the bowling alley. That'd be cute. Saf's party is starting soon. A little setting up may be in order. They're not going to set up. They're taking their newborn out. They're like, you know, you guys are old enough. You can definitely hold down the fort while we're gone. I mean, Oliver, he's what? He's almost halfway through his childhood, so he's probably like seven or eight, you know, and that would make Saf like, I don't know, 14, 15. Like, they're definitely old enough. It's fine. And this is like perfect because they're gonna get to the bistro they're gonna have a nice meal and then they might go bowling because she got the wish to go bowling i don't know if there's a i don't recall there being a bowling alley in this town but i guess for her to have the wish there has to be right also i don't understand why they didn't take their car is it because i told her to do it and she has the baby with her okay well you don't need to like full-blown go inside Where'd you go, Jasper? Oh, you're out here. It would be really cute if they ate outside, but not with the baby with them, you know? 
Are you going to be in your wedding dress? She is. <laughs> she had two options and she chose the wedding dress. Although her other formal wear is her wedding dress in black. So not that much of a difference. All right, Jasper, change your clothes, please. Thank you. It's like they're wedding all over again. Do not set the baby on the ground. What are we doing? Do not set the baby on the ground. Okay. I was like, girl, I will actually kick you if you set that damn baby on the ground. Okay. get in. We've been here for an hour already. Get inside the building. You know how frustrated I would be if it took an hour to go from arriving at a restaurant to just stepping foot inside? No way. No, ma'am. Who are you? Gallon. Okay. The first party guest has arrived. So let's see. They're going to eat and then we're going to go. I was thinking about going here because, you know, they have the baby. But she got the wish to go bowling. So is there... Did I place a bowling place down here? I don't think I have bowling in this town. I know there's like bowling in the game, but I don't think there's anywhere to bowl in this town. Hmm. We'll just go here. We'll visit here with groups. So then that gives us some time to focus on the kids, their little kid party they got going on. We'll go ahead and um, turn on the stereo. Let's get up. Who's here? Who are the first house guests? Let's have you get up and get that stupid helmet off, girl. <laughs> um, we're going to have you change into your everyday. Oh, why don't you actually talk to Keaton? Because... Um, this is our besties kid, so he should also be your bestie. Um, let's give him a friendly introduction. Let's have you come out of whatever that is. And I'm going to have him set some booby traps. Because a lot of the booby traps that he has set so far have been set off. And, you know, with the parents out of the house, this feels like the perfect time to set as many booby traps as freaking possible. So we're gonna basically booby trap every single thing we can. Sink's already booby trapped. Okay. Nobody washes their hands in this house apparently. And then you'll just come and dance or whatever. All right. Um. Oh yeah, Nadia. This is supposed to be our friend. So let's chat with her. Get to know her. We'll share a secret. I think Oliver is going to be kind of like antisocial, you know, kind of the little rebel sets booby traps and is kind of a nuisance. Okay, well, evil dance. Okay, Bradley's here. Who is this that literally showed up, got out the car and left? Who are you? He doesn't look happy. What's your name? I don't know that you were invited, so good riddance. I really was hoping Jada would show up. Um, like I was really hoping Jada would show up, but it is what it is, I guess. Let's ask about his career, ask about his sign, um, his age, or if he's single, his age, and then we're going to come over here and talk to Bradley, because actually Bradley was supposed to be our second bestie, it was supposed to be him and Marcy, so we'll ask his sign, if he's single, his age. Um, we'll get to know him, we'll enthuse about our new car. None of the people that I like really, really wanted here are here. Like I really wanted, I really did want Bradley, so that's good, but I wanted Jada. Okay, you know what? Jada's the only one that I wanted that's not here. <laughs> I can't complain too much. Okay, so yeah, enthuse about your new car and then... Tell them a funny story. Keaton is single. Okay. They are off to that lot. He is setting his millions of booby traps. Oliver has been studying very hard lately. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. Um, she definitely needs to do her homework at some point. Let's get to know her. Um, gossip with her. 
Make silly face, tell funny story. I am eight days older than you. Oh, you're older? You're that much older? He's almost a young adult. Holy crap. Um, I'm going to jump over to these guys. Are they going to the correct place? Why did you leave him on the ground? Why did you just leave your baby on the ground? Go pick him up. Oh my god. What is wrong with you? Why would you set him down? I cannot with her. She's so dumb. This is your fourth baby. You should know how to do this by now. Okay, she's taking him with this time. All right, we're chatting it up with Bradley. Hopefully, they'll become friends today, and hopefully, she'll become friends with Nadia today. I really want her to be friends with a lot of people, but she's going to be a teenager soon, so I think I'm going to just stop even trying to make her friends with kids and just focus on teenagers. All right, we got some chili con cara. Um, what is this? Oh, this is Marcy. This is um, um, Saf's best friend. We got Muhammad here. Jada never showed up, and I'm actually kind of pissed about it. I just don't get it. All right, let's get to know her, and let's discuss our favorite TV show. What is that noise? You guys hear that? It's like sad music. It's really, really subtle, but I hear it. I don't know. I'm confused. Wait, is this Jada? No, that's Marcy. Marcy, are you leaving? You fucking bitch. I was gonna go become friends with you. Oh my god. Um, alright. What is that freaking noise? I hate it. We're gonna invite Jada over because I was really hoping to get a nice look at her, see if she's someone I can see Saf being with, even if it's not, like, seriously, you know? Apparently they went to the hot spot of the night. Ooh. Let's go. S oh, he's tired. <laughs> he's so tired. He got up at, I think it was like 4.30 to take care of the baby. And then, you know, he was, he went to bed later than Sage. And then he got woken up early because of Storm. It's a whole hot mess. It's a whole hot mess. So this place is super cute. I actually really love it. It's a really good, like... It's not a daycare, but, like, it's, like, set up to be a daycare, uh, like, daycare preschool kind of thing. Super cute. Um, unfortunately, you can't really do anything with babies, like, no matter how much space you have. But we can go put Wyatt in the crib, you know, we'll say he's, like, down for a nap, and then they'll spend some one-on-one -on -one time together. But, I mean, we can rock him over here. There's a pool. There's a playground. There's a napping room. This is a playroom, an eating area, art room, bathrooms on each level. Um, let's see what's on the top level. There's, like, playpens, work. Yeah, like, this is a really, really, really cute place. It's a good place if you have toddlers and want to, like, get them out and actually do stuff. You can have your toddler do stuff, and you can have your adult, like, there's a logic thing. There's working out. There's painting. Like, there's a lot you can do here, um, even as adults. So, let's go up and let's give him a kiss and a Morris hug. And then we're going to ask about his day and ask to be protected. You are not going to go rock in one of those chairs. Nice try. We're not quite friends with Bradley yet. That sucks. We are friends with Nadia, though, so that's good. I think it's time to go, but I had fun, so thanks. Oh, my God. Saf is becoming a celebrity? Absolutely not. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm turning celebrities off. Um, I can never remember what it's under. Celebrities are turned off. I hate that. I'm going to have to take that away from him. You do that through NRAS, by the way. All right. So, okay. Jada is on her way over. Perfection. He is doing his little evil dancey dance. 
Ooh, let's have you order pizza also. Call for services. Collector required. Uh, no. Uh, mm, yeah. <laughs> I was definitely going to do no and then I missed it. And I was like, you know what? It's for money. Let's go. All right. Pizza delivery. <gasps> What? Why are you touching my kid? No! You just moved to cribs? Put my fucking baby down. Oh my god. Alright, well, that was traumatizing, so we're gonna come over here and <laughs> play with him. And snuggle him. And then we're gonna just rock him for a little bit. His social is kind of low. And you really, realistically, you just kind of need to sleep. So I'm going to have you just, actually, here's what we're going to do. You're going to come over here. Is this not a child? Thank you. You're going to come over here, snuggle him, talk to him, and then you're going to rock with him. All right, the party is pretty much over. We ordered pizza for literally no reason because everyone is leaving, so that's fun you can do whatever you want i literally don't care and what do you need one piece of silver one piece of iron one emerald and one ruby well let's start closer to the house got silver emerald iron we're gonna come collect this silver okay this emerald actually because of this little mountain here that's not the closest so silver ruby iron you know what I think that might actually be the closest emerald ruby iron iron yeah that is going to be the closest emerald. So we're going to go this way, actually. We're going to do the ruby over here. Is this ruby? Why is it not telling me? I guess we're just going to collect all four things that are over here because it doesn't freaking tell me. So this was ruby and iron. Oh my god! Why did I do this? I don't like this. Ruby and iron and then silver right here. And then emerald. You are the closest one. And then we will go to the science lab. Is that where we need to deliver it? I think so. Okay, and then let's check on Saf. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, Oliver, we're going to have you come over here, go on a little submarine adventure. You're just going to use this bathroom. Don't do laundry. Just wash your hands. You're leaving. Pizza should be here soon. Jada should be here soon. I'm excited to see her, see what she's going to look like. Mila, why were you sitting in the bathroom playing with your toy? Oh my God, now it's going to cancel that out. Okay, no, we're good. I think it's time to go, but I had fun, so thanks. Why are you in your outerwear? Can you explain that to me? Alright, whatever. There's pizza coming. She's talking to strangers. That's fine. Alright, pizza is here. Jada should hopefully be here soon. Let's go receive our pizza. Ignore the call. Oh my god, Mila still needs to do her homework. I forgot. Yours is done, right? No! Saf needs to do his homework too. Okay. You're not going to receive the pizza. You're a literal child. Come over here. Um, I don't know if Jade is coming over. I don't think she is. And I'm kind of disappointed. Looks like I'm done here. That'll be 30 simoleons. Oh, excuse me. Why do they do this? Why are you bringing it into her bedroom? Okay, she found a ruby. All 
A ruby is not even what we needed. That was nothing of what we needed. No, we did need a ruby. Okay. Weird. Oh, oh my god. Oh! Um. That's why he couldn't freaking... Okay, why are these... Hold on. I need to fix this. Why can't I fucking click on this? Okay, that looks so much better. I don't know why my cabinets were, like, shiny. Um, let's go ahead and just grab a slice at this point. There's nobody here but you and Oliver. Jada did not show up. Um, I have a feeling that's going to be, like, a quick ended thing. You know, like, they're not going to stay together. Well, hold on, because why does she not have... Did I not tell her to collect the silver? Oh, I think I might have... Or the emerald. I think I might have accidentally said go here instead of collect it. Okay, so she has her iron and her ruby. This should be her silver. The other one should be her emerald. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, the baby's in a crib, apparently. You know what? Let's just all come here. No, not with your date. We're going to end the date. We're going to go here with Sage and Wyatt, all right? We didn't spend much time together, but whatever. It's all good. No, it's not, all right? It's not all good. Go take a quick shower, and then you really need to do your homework. This was kind of a fail. I mean, we got Forrest back, so it wasn't that much of a fail. It was actually probably the greatest part we've ever had in existence. <laughs> But it was a fail in the sense of, like, not what we wanted to happen happened, you know? So I'm going to actually have Oliver just clean up a little bit. I think he kind of, I think he tries to play this, like, you know, oh, my parents are coming home. I should clean up, you know? Like, he tries to play that good kid when in reality, the whole time his parents were gone, he's been booby trapping. Oh, my God. Saf just started singing in the shower. I don't know if you guys could hear that. But the whole time his parents have been gone, he's been booby-trapping everything. Also, why is there water all over the floor? Do, is something broken? I'm confused. You're confused. I'm confused. Anyways. <laughs> um, let's give him a bottle. And we're not going to streak. Yeah, there's children around. Give him a bottle. Snuggle him. We're going to put him in his crib, use the bathroom, and then he's going to bed because tomorrow he starts daycare again, okay? He's going to get three toddlers plus Wyatt, so he's going to have four total toddlers, like babies and toddlers to take care of, and I'm actually going to send Sage to work. Technically, she shouldn't go back until um, Friday. One, two, three, four, and then 13 hours. Yeah. So technically she shouldn't go back until Friday, but you guys know Sage is definitely more work focused than family focused. So she would be like, no, I'm going to take a short maternity leave. Um, I am going to let her be off Tuesday just because that um, is two of her four kids' birthdays. Wednesday, she doesn't work anyway, so I'm not going to make her work. Thursday is a holiday, so I'm not going to make her work. And then Friday, she would technically be going back, but she'll be pregnant again. But I will force her to go in while she's pregnant, okay? Like, I don't even care. I don't even care. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> um, yeah, Oliver's going to clean up a little bit. And then I think he might... I did my game freeze. Thank you. She is still going to collect her last two. She had to run pretty far. I think he might, um, oh, her curfew. Her curfew. I forgot. Um, I'm going to have him play with the blocks and see what we can do about getting that skill up just before he goes to bed. Mila, you better hurry up, girl. Oh, and then let's come here and put this away. And then maybe do some laundry and then do some cleaning. I swear with the house. Oh my God, girl, you didn't. You freaking didn't. With a house this big, everything gets dirty so freaking fast. Okay, she's at least taking her bike to this last one. 
Because it's so far. Yeah, I knew that was not the smartest option, but, you know, I had to do what I had to do. And he is probably just going to um, browse the web a little bit when he's done before he has to go to sleep. Mila is not doing her homework. You know what? Wasn't Oliver supposed to be our kid that, like, didn't do his homework? And he was the only one so far that has... Just throwing that out there, you know? I'm gonna drag his sleep down so he sleeps throughout most of the night. You're set to wake up right at seven. Yep, girl, this is why I have to cue you in 75 times. Because you do some dumb shit like that. It's all your fault. Off she goes upstairs. I swear to fucking God, Mila, you did not. I'm going to beat her ass. I'm so mad. She had one more to collect and she's like, nah, nah, I'm going to go home. Stop following her. Are you, this is a joke. Why are you still following her? Oliver, go to bed. You just go to bed. Girl, you have a lot. Mila, stop following her. Go. Oh my God. I'm going to freak out. I'm going to freak out. Mila, what are you doing? Why is she so dumb? I can't. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this part here. Like I said, the next part is going to be just a daycare day. That's what we're gonna focus on. We will have three toddlers. At least two of them will be new. We will also have a little baby to take care of. Oh yeah, I never looked at this. He likes disco music, autumn salad, and the color Irish green. I really should start looking at my Sims' favorite colors and trying to like incorporate that. Okay, so his is orange. That actually kind of fits his room because he's got like, I don't know, dark orange. Not really, but colorful. Fits his room. Hers is purple. Um, she's got light purple. And it's more pink. Never mind. And his is gray. Pfft, he's got browns. Oh my god, I'm a failure. But anyways, I'm going to end this part here. Like I said, the next part is going to be the daycare career. And then the next part after that is going to be, let me look here, um, some birthday parties. And then, and then yeah, like trying for babies and just more kid stuff. I'm super excited. I cannot wait for the fall festival to get into town. We're going to have to wait until next week, Monday, because it doesn't actually show up until one day into the season. So even though fall starts in seven days, the festival won't be in town for another eight days. But I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see your lovely, lovely faces in my next one. Bye, guys.